It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. I am thankful that you are hanging out with me today because we again today are going back into the Daily Dog archives and we're going to be listening to a very special selection. Uh, the selection is Heart of the Sunrise by Yes. For the last several months, I have had many people asking me for this song. And just like yesterday with Genesis, my response is, I have already reacted to that one. And it's on an Extended Play Lounge episode that I have already uh, recorded and published. Uh, but uh, we are going uh, into these archives, into these Extended Play Lounge episodes and exerting these individual songs for our YouTube audience this week. And I am happy to share it. Um, I listened to the entire Fragile album by Yes uh, for my Extended Play Lounge episode 5, uh, and that was uh, originally published on October 5th of 2021. This uh, gives me an opportunity, though, y'all, to close a loop that, uh, <laughs> that I opened when I did the Extended Play Lounge episode. Uh, when I did that episode, I was making use of the 2003 remastered version. What I did not know <laughs> was that in this version, Heart of the Sunrise is a 10 and a half minute track, but the 2008 remastered version is 11 and a half minutes. So apparently there is a quick reprise of We Have Heaven from earlier in the album that did not appear on the 2003 remastered version. So I will finally get to listen to that last little bit of the album uh, in this video today. So uh, we've got John Anderson on lead and backing vocals, Steve Howe on guitars and vocals, Chris Squire on bass and backing vocals, Rick Wakeman on the keyboards, and Bill Bruford on the drums. So what you are about to see is pre-recorded. I uh, recorded this back in October of 2021, and I am happy to share it with you now. This is Heart of the Sunrise by Yes. There they come. such a dichotomy. It's like it's, the bottom part is so earthy and chaotic and the stuff they put on top is just otherworldly. It's like the yin and the yang at the same time listening to these guys. Ah. Uh. Wow. That's filthy, y'all. The way that he's bending down the, the top notes of those bass arpeggios uh, shows so much attitude and bluesiness. This is... Y'all, we're going to take it home. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. One chord. They're like, all we need is we 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 play a lot of chords, but all we need is this one chord. We can layer whatever we want to on top of it. It's like a yes sandwich. And the drums. Totally good. I believe that is G sharp minor. Plus 
6571. That's fun to do on the organ. Like you have your hand where you want the chord to end up and you take your left hand and just, just slur all the notes. There's lyrics in this song. And that's a long introduction. Same, same key. Up a step. Love comes okay. to you when you follow. Lose one on to the heart of the sunrise. Sharp distance. How can the wind with its arms all around? Lost all the way, and then after Dream on, on to the heart of the sunrise Sharp distance Sharp distance can the wind You can break your heart just by singing a word It's impressionistic to me. Like everything is, is intangible. It's, it's all metaphor. I mean, a sunrise doesn't have a heart. Lost on a wave that you're dreaming. Dream on. On to the heart of the sunrise. The sunrise isn't intangible. That's something that we experience. Uh. And thank whatever force created John Anderson. It's like folk for just a second, and then it's like, yes, it's like, no, but it's still us. So this is, we're gonna play this this time. Oh, it could have gone like really anthemic and sort of like, like folk fable there, and it didn't. Instead, it goes here. Fun. like different paths of Alice in Wonderland, you know? Or those mystery books that if you could turn to a different page and go off on a different storyline. The sunrise is not intangible, but it's personal to us, right? Each one of us can see the sunrise and experience it for ourselves. And I don't know about y'all, but whenever I experience a sunrise, it's life-changing. It helps reprioritize and reset you. 
right? So the heart of that, the, right? Getting to the heart of that, and it can be sharp, and there can be distance between like your priorities and where you are, and it can help realign you, but it's Straight different for all of us. There's something that's not that's tangible. Uh, the chair. Dreamer easy in the chair that really fits you. It's probably a metaphorical chair. Lost in the city too, John. And then those chords. Those are the last words on the album. And the album's done. It's such a wonderful and fascinating piece of music, isn't it? And it ended the album like that. So that's how I was left at the end of this extended play listen and i was like that's the end of the album but uh, this is the last bit of heart of the sunrise that i did not get to hear back in october and this is taken from the 2008 remastered version here's what it sounds like so we're backing up a little bit to the end of heart of the sunrise You know, in that range, he's, most mortal people would be like straining, and he's just floating that. It's part of why the color is so uh, interesting and unique and wonderful. such a weird way to end it goes completely away from where they were it ends on an upbeat so what happens next that little bit huh 
Well, what could that mean? Why would they put that there? Uh, we Have Heaven was this uh, little short piece that sounded like um, uh, John Anderson having a good old time <laughs> overdubbing uh, these vocals and creating this groovy little piece. Uh, it was the third song on uh, the album. Uh, the only difference I can glean uh, from the original part of it to what was put here at the end of, uh, of the album is that uh, the door uh, opens at the beginning of this reprise, but at the end of its actual place on the album of the third track, the door slams shut and then you have footsteps walking away. Uh, so maybe John is uh, reopening the door and heading back into his personal, uh, I don't know, room of requirement, uh, happy place. <laughs> I know that uh, Heart of the Sunrise is a very spiritual song for John from what I uh, read. And maybe this door opening for uh, We Have Heaven is an affirmation of sorts as we leave this album and we continue on our journey. Uh, only, only John could make a reprise at the end of an album just as peculiar and interesting as the ending without the reprise. But um, it's always great to go back and, and relive some previously recorded reactions. And that was excerpted from My Extended Play Lounge Episode 5 featuring Fragile by Yes that I published back in October of last year. I hope you all enjoyed that. We'll get to some more yes in the coming weeks and months, but that's all for today. Thanks, y'all. We'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.